Because Peninsula Business Services sells an insurance product alongside our other services, we are regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA. The policy covers commercial legal expenses incurred in the preparation and defence of an employment tribunal or the defence of any criminal prosecution for a health and safety breach. It also covers compensation and awards made by an employment tribunal. It is important to understand that the insurance policy is optional. It is sold on an opt-in basis and is not a compulsory element of our services. However, there is a requirement that our advice has been taken and followed, as failure to do so invalidates the policy. However, even if clients fail to follow our advice, thereby breaching terms contained in the insurance scheme, Peninsula will often still bear some or all of the legal representation costs, even though the client will then have no cover from the insurer. However, Peninsula will not provide cover for any awards or settlements made in such cases. To strengthen consumer protection, the FCA also requires Peninsula to embed the principles of treating customers fairly TCF, into its corporate culture. We embrace this because by keeping our clients' interests at heart, we grow our business. Excellent service secures customer loyalty. Five of the six TCF guidelines apply to Peninsula. Fair treatment of customers is central to the way we do business. Our products and services must be designed to meet the customer's needs. Customers receive clear information before, during and after the point of sale. Our products perform exactly as the customer has been led to expect. There are no unreasonable barriers that stop a customer submitting a claim or complaint. How we deal with complaints is very important for regulated firms such as Peninsula. If the client wishes to complain about the sale or performance of our insurance product, we can ask them to put it in writing. We can't insist they do so, as the FCA rules say a verbal complaint is sufficient. All complaints must be logged with client services, as this provides the client with a single point of contact as complaints can have a number of elements. If a client believes they have been missold a product, they will be dealt with by client services, who will, in turn, contact the person who sold it for feedback. If you are being accused of mis-selling, it is a normal reaction to feel quite angry, especially if you feel you've done nothing wrong. However, before you respond to client services, take 30 minutes to calm down. Only reply when calm. Keep all correspondence and communication factual and professional and don't express personal opinions about the client because all feedback is logged, which both the FCA and the client can request to see. If the complainant remains unhappy at our response, they can then take it to the Financial Ombudsman Service. If you receive any correspondence from the Financial Ombudsman Service, pass it immediately to the Group Compliance Manager. Under Section 7 of the 1998 Data Protection Act DPA, our clients' employees are entitled to make a Subject Access Request SAR, of Peninsula. They know we hold their personal data, and an SAR is simply a written request made by or on behalf of an individual for this information. These requests must be sent to the Compliance Manager immediately. The client may, of course, request copies of data we hold relating to their business. We sometimes receive data requests from the police and other authorities. These must be passed to the compliance manager immediately. Before you release any information, first validate that the individual is authorised to request it. Then get approval from your line manager. If a client requires advice about responding to a subject access request from one of their employees, the compliance manager can provide assistance. You can see that this data is sensitive, so take care of it. Don't leave a client's data on your desk overnight. Lock it away when you leave the office. 
If you need to take their data off-site, legal services files for example, extra care must be taken to reduce the risk of losing it. Don't leave files or laptops on view in a vehicle. Lock them in the boot. If a loss does occur, report it immediately to your line manager and also to the compliance manager or the health and safety technical advisor.